the young artist who never had no money before. Yeah. In Go ahead. Oh no, this delay. Sorry, man. Um, you know, rappers and artists are uh, are always battling their labels. It's been going on since day one in the music industry, and history shows that the label owner, the promoter, the man on top always gets the bad rap. You know, for the most part, the Jerry Hellers of the world, the babies from Cash Money. You know, um, talk to us because you've done it all. You were a label owner, promoter. Talk to us from a label owner, promoter point of view. Why do you guys get such a bad rap? And what are some of the behind the scenes things that a label owner or promoter has to go through that the artist and the public don't see? Well, as a, I'll be right back. Keep going. As a promoter, record label, you bear all the responsibility. Martin, I see you, baby. Much love to you, Doc. As a uh, promoter, record company, you bear all the responsibility. You, respect, you, 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 you uh, bear all the expense. Which means uh, everything everything comes out your pocket first. The artist has to be good enough to to be, to, to create the music or the art form, whatever it is that's going to make get you money back and get him paid as well. The problem is um, that at some point in time, record companies may want you to go a direction that you don't really feel that that's not really your your forte. And now you're fighting with yourself to make them happy because they pretty much control you. And this is where the battle starts. Or like Prince. Prince said, I don't want you to, I want a better deal. I'm going to invest my own money, make my own album. I don't want you to, I don't want the royalty deal that you guys are giving me right now. And they said, nope, too bad you signed the contract. And that's the part that makes you want to hurt somebody. Because, you know, you realize that I didn't, I didn't take a million dollars from you. I have, you, this is my project. And you have to understand the record business is the only business that gives you an advance for a project that they own and they make you pay for it with your royalties while they're making the lion's share of the money. Understand what I'm saying? The record business is the only business that will give you an advance then tell me to, for, for a product that they're going to own and for you to get any money out of this project, you have to recoup all the money I gave you at the royalty rate that you that we uh, that we assigned to you, which means for for lack of uh, for, for math purposes, so let's say you get a dollar an album. If you're getting a dollar an album and I give you a hundred thousand uh, dollars to record the album, you got to pay all the expenses out of the producers, taxes, lawyers. Tape, studio, everything comes out that hundred grand that I gave you to make this album that's going to be on my label that I'm going to own the copyrights to. I give you a hundred thousand dollars to do this. You pay all the expenses. Now you have to promote it for free. No more money. There's no more money for promotion because that's part of the contract. And you got to do whatever it takes to make this album happen. Now the album starts taking off and it starts to sell. You have to sell one hundred thousand uh, albums at your rate for every dollar for every um for to recoup you have to sell a hundred thousand albums just to get even and you don't get no money in the meantime so hundred thousand albums at ten dollars a piece the record company is going to make a million dollars and you're just getting even you just go to zero they're going to make a million dollars before you get to, and, and and you'll just be getting to zero and from everything after that you still get paid now if there's any tour support, video, anything else, that may come after the fact and, and set your dial back at, uh, uh, at uh, back in the negative again because all that comes out your royalties at your assigned royalty rate. Meanwhile, they own it in perpetuity. That's their product. So if you, that's like somebody saying, I'm going to come to your house. You're going to pay me to paint your house, but I get to keep it. But you still got it. I still, it's, it's your house, but I, I still own it. I don't, it, it, it. It never really made sense, but that was the deal they had, and that's the deal they keep. So for every record, for every dollar you make, the record company makes nine on the CD. For every record you make, for every dollar, record is sold, they make they make nine dollars, and one of those dollars go towards them getting paid back, and it's still their product. Why would I pay you to buy something to make something? that you own it's your product you should be hiring me to do the motherfucker and pay me 
from day one. But that's not how it goes. But you, the, the money that's being market, money used to market the product makes me a celebrity. So now, even if you, if we don't sign, if I don't sign with you again, I could go get some sign with somebody else, or I may take my talents to, to the movie, to the silver screen. You're going to get no money off of that. But now you do. I may, because people like, women like me, I may get a cologne. I may get a, a, a champagne or energy drink because, because people like me. But up until now, they didn't get no parts of that. Now they do. Did you appreciate the uh, entertainment aspect more? Because you were an entertainer, you made songs, you were a creative, you are a creative person, or did you enjoy the behind the scenes more? Or did you like them equally? I like them equally, Doc. I mean, being behind the scenes and understanding what you're getting yourself into, it's nothing worse than getting screwed. <laughs> it's nothing worse. It's the worst feeling in the world. And once you understand where the screwing comes from, you can protect yourself. You can put a, a condom on your ass, at least or something. At least it won't be all that terrible. But <laughs> you can't do that unless you understand the game. And that's the part most people don't understand. You, you, you're so happy to get the deal, you don't read the contract. You're so happy. You, you know, you get the check coming. You ain't reading that damn contract. Nope, you're not reading it. You know, it pay. It has nothing to do. You, you know, you're not paying any attention to it. So, um, it's um, it's just um, I enjoy the create the creative part, but the promotion part. This, this is where Monique fell off at with her deal. They gave her. She got the money for the movie. Now they want you to travel the world on your at, at their dime. For their product, and I pay you any money. They take you away from your family, put you on airplanes. You got to do these uh, what they call junkets, uh, um, uh, promotional junkets, which means you may talk to 30, 40 people. Press junkets. Your press junkets. I'm sorry, press junkets. You may talk to 30, 40 people on behalf of the record company that ain't paying you no money. That's already, you know, your money, you already got your money. There's no budget for you to promote this. And some people are like, I'm not doing that. Because it's, it's very it's very tedious, and you got to tell the same story to everybody. They, they won't just do one big old junket and be done with it. Every every channel got to have their every station got to have their own individual interview, and you may interview with uh, 30, 40 people in a week, a day. Then you got to go overseas and do the same shit all over again. Uh, no, it can be very redundant. Yeah. Damn, dude. Thank you, Marlon Cozy. Good looking out for that 10. Appreciate it. He says, yo, Unc, when are you going to do more club stories? And Dust, do you listen to the new hip-hop lens, R&B vocals over hip-hop beats and vice versa? I always have my ear to the street. I love music. I listen to music every single day, every moment of the day almost. You know, um, so yeah, I have heard some of that. And there's a lot of good 